let's see. Oh, wait, hold my play. I didn't see anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's here. Thanks. Yeah, but probably my opponent. Okay. Here, e5. First time we see an e4, e5 position today. And let's try Spanish. And burning defense. And let's do knight c3. Okay, knight c3 switch to like four knights variation. Normally, why you should do short castle or d3, but this is another way to play. And this position is. I think black here could play like oh, bishop c6. I was expecting pawn takes c6 and then c5, then bishop e7, short castle. And here I should trade the bishop and then play the short castle. This pawn structure is actually interesting because the double c pawn, but with open b file, sometimes rook b8, rook b4, and a5, c5 or maybe d5. So I think with a very careful play, probably white will have some style advantage, but definitely this position is playable. And I was even thinking whether black should push d5 at some moments. Therefore I decided to play this rook queen f3. One of the interesting idea in the future is to play e5 and then trade off the c6 pawn, but I decided to be Nothing hairy. Probably black should play 97 bishop f6. Now I felt like very tempting to play the move e5, or I should play something like knight e2, knight d4. Both seems interesting. Okay, let's try knight e2. Having an idea, knight d4, knight f5, also targeting c6. And uh, Another possible route for the knight is knight g3, maybe knight h5. Also knight e2 is preventing blacks to play bishop f8. And here, black could try to play c5. Okay, queen g4 is also interesting. And uh, I have to play this m game. And let's try h3. Here, black's knight should go get back to f6 because if you go to e5, probably white will play bishop e5 to create this uh, uh, bad pawn structure. Here, let's try knight g3. At some moment, so white should push e5 and to create that uh, bad pawn structure for black. Okay, let's try it here. Black could play knight b5 and then knight b4 with idea e d6, c d6. Because now the current position, the c7, c6, a5, three isolated pawns are kind of the long term weakness for black. Okay, but he can try a4 and sometimes c5, c4. Therefore, this move rook a c8, I felt like also a little bit uh, imprecise. Okay, I play c4 move, stopping knight b5. When the knight stay on f6, this bishop on e7 is also a little bit uh, stuck in here, because otherwise, if you move away, white will have bishop f6. Okay, rook f e7, rook f e1. This move is, is a little bit passive. I should try knight f5. And let's see if black would allow me chances to play next move. Oh no. Okay, but then he's having this uh, pawn structure, three, six isolated pawns, three on each side, and also in a very symmetric way. This, um, this um, black should be a little bit careful, although bishop before making me a little bit so uncomfortable as my rook has to go back on f1, otherwise I'm giving black the open d file. Okay, so for why the play probably would be g4, king g2, king f3. Okay, rook d1, rook d1. Now suddenly white is feeling more comfortable. Probably black should play like rook e8, bishop c5, throwing rook e2, attacking f2 bishop. Or maybe a4, rook a8, a b, rook a2.
And once white case becomes safe, then the stroke could be activated. Like rook d7 or rook d3, rook f3. But the only thing one should be careful is like uh, black may have rook e1 and rook e2, then bishop c5. But okay, this king can go to g3 when black is giving a check on f2. Okay, so let's take pawns. And also this king on g6 has some problem that white may have rook c8, rook g8 in the future. Ah, disconnected again. Okay, let's keep talking and hopefully I'll be back to the game very soon. So black may have rook e1, king g2, rook e2. Okay, he's playing c5. Now I decided to catch the time, exchange the rook, because when white has a pawn up and the, um, the black pawn kind of disconnected, it's good to clarify the position, trying to convert to the pawn end game. Therefore, I play knight d5. Also, keep an eye on king f4, right? And uh, let's do g takes h5. Okay, let's do king g2. I was thinking knight b4, a b4, but I feel like that's a, that makes three verses to like the same thing. Oh, this connected again, poor thing. Okay, my idea is like to use one h pawn, exchange both f pawns. And if it go king h5, I might have the idea knight f4, knight d3, knight on d3 is better than d5, as it's also keep an eye on c5 pawn. And also I could do like f3, then there's no more bishop e1 and check. So that was my idea. Uh, to maneuver the knight from d5 to d3 and not get a tempo. If black play king h5 again, and then I can take the pawn f5. And now bishop can go to uh, e3. Okay, now let's take this pawn. This is uh, winning the pawn again. Okay, let's and thanks to the A2 pawn, white is on time to capture balls. Okay. Ah, so now let's switch to the other one. I just felt like this one is not with increment, right? 